Hello, 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 my good students. Welcome back to our War on the Sea Let's Play series with the Pacific Mod. We are steaming back with our Kaga, Shokaku, and Taiyo aircraft carriers um, all the way back to Guam and Saipan to help out with the um, soon to be coming up uh, invasions of the Philippines. However, we have spotted a Queen Elizabeth task force once again, uh, perhaps trying to intercept us, perhaps just scousing about. Either way, uh, we could have um, a bit of an air engagement on our hands before we get back to Guam. And that's not exactly ideal because that will be uh, aircraft lost before we get back to uh, our designated target. But uh, we'll see what happens. Um, they did disappear from our site, so we could have to scout out um, a little better. And of course, see if we can uh, retain sight on them. So there's a small possibility we might just bypass them simply because of uh, lack of vision. So uh, let's get to the strategic map and see what we can do. All right, so we do have our pinpoint over here, which is marked as a battleship, and that's of course for the Queen Elizabeth there. Let's um, keep actually these zeros on their continuous scouting missions there. Uh, we don't have any zeros available on the Taiyo there. That's absolutely fine. We'll just bring out some from the Shokaku instead. Go down all the way one at a time, please. Thank you. And we'll launch some close range to begin with. Just see that uh, we're not actually going to have a nasty surprise on our hands, that they're steaming straight towards us uh, because we did sight some... Uh, enemy scouts which will have uh, seen us in return and then therefore they might well want to take a surface engagement here because uh, we will not be able to stand up to that if that does become the case there. Gonna launch out another scout over here a bit wider and we're going to launch out just one more because surely that's enough with the amount of planes we have in the sky here uh, looking for this task force. The uh, scousing in this game is forever <laughs> one of uh, the big weaknesses, I think. It's just so, it can be rather inconsistent. You can see the amount of scouts uh, we have out both here for this particular um, instance and of course um, around here. And we just keep, you know, citing things at the last minute. It's very, very strange indeed. But because we have, tell you what is uh, rather consistent, is that because we have just loaded into the game, we can see this submarine once again. Uh, we don't have any fighters on Saipan available, so we're gonna have to go to Guam. And we will take, um, let's see, they're all scouting out. Uh, can we take perhaps some Judy's? We will take some HE bombs. Oh, do we want to do that? Can the Donruz launch? They can only launch bombs as well. Can Bessie use something a bit better there? I was hoping for depth charges, perhaps, really. Um, hmm. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting indeed. Can we launch maybe some zeros from Akagi over here? That might leave sight by the time the zeros can get over there. We're going to launch six with some bombs there. And we'll see about that. I'm actually very surprised it hasn't actually caught up with any of our task forces yet. I guarantee you that actually has not uh, touched anything. I've been very, very lucky indeed. Um, because we have only lost the one Yugimo. And that, you know what, could be a lot greater if uh, this thing has actually, uh, or did actually, um, engage our task forces there. We can see uh, these invasion supplies uh, perhaps uh, going straight towards that. We're going to try and come back around here, see what happens. That'll take a little longer, but it's not to worry um, because we know that's there. I don't want to go straight into that. We just got to move forwards and have a look. Tire is ready to launch, no worries. Let's go over this. You can see that we're just going to lose sight over here of this before we can get in and that's the constant problem there. Let's go in. Ah, that's okay, we can see it. Let's go straight in. Um, see if we can, we, it's just here. Excellent. Dive down. Thank you very much. No need to go too low there. Stay too high rather. Go straight in. Target it. Thank you. Uh, what do we have? Is it that British one we noticed previously? No, it's not an American once again. Okay. Uh, let's tell everyone to 
break and attack, I think, onto that uh, while we can. Just so everyone is going directly towards it. So no need for real formation attacks here. We've probably got a better chance of hitting it if we all go directly individually towards it. Uh, we are going fairly quickly with the zeros. Uh, it's just unfortunately no chance of strafing that down. So the bombs really do need to hit here. Only need a couple bombs as well. As light as they are, of course, the submarines have terrible, terrible armor, don't they? Not liking this lead here, though. That's not looking good, is it? Hmm. It's quite the spread. Um, one hit. One hit. That's heavy to critical, though, so that might resurface uh, if we form up once again. I thought I bloody pressed everyone there. Weird. And let's turn back round, hang about, that might resurface fairly soon. Or we might even it might even just flood out now that it's submerged. So we'll stick around and I'll let you know. Can I still see the uh, trail of it there? I wonder if it is coming back up. I'm sure that will just persist for some time though. So we'll see. Yeah, there we go. Actually didn't even need to waste around. There is sinking, brilliant stuff. Let's just go. One command point, one submarine downed out of so, so many. Let's um, check exactly what sort of submarine that was. Uh, go right to the bottom. It was a Gato. Okay, that's the first Gato we have sunk. That is X. We're on 99 ships sunk um, with a total of nearly a million tons sunk. That is amazing. <laughs> What is absolutely ridiculous is uh, the enemy have lost a total of 65 aircraft and we have lost 353. That just shows you um, how um, reliant we are on our carriers there and how inefficient perhaps I suppose you could say but then again it's 100 uh, ships lost pretty much. Uh, I'll take it, but um, that's one third of the way still. 300 ships need to be sunk before we get three times the amount of uh, supplies every week. Um, and that is uh, rather, rather a lot to get still on day 80, it that is as well. Interesting, interesting. Um, I was going to check how many gators they have in total, but I'm sure it's just too many. Um, let's see, Gato's 31, yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh, deary dear. So, we're once again going to try and follow this scout, I think, actually. Where, okay, so they're down here. Rayson's picked up some ships over there. Can't do anything about that, unfortunately. Um, might... That's interesting. Encounter at Peleliu, is that the battleships again? No, that's some more, uh some more supplies. Might want to try hitting this actually. Going to go with some Mavises once again and we're going to go with uh, the torpedoes here. Um, actually what we're going to do is go for the six Bettys. Uh, we're going to bet that it's uh, two ships over here so we can split them off two groups of three and maybe hit both there. Let's just get a tag closer and that should do. What off we got? What off we got? Okay, so it looks like a Patapsco and another Netherlands transport there. Uh, we'll get this group onto the Netherlands ship. Bring these down. Lovely stuff. Start diving already. And we'll get the Bessies on the back to go for the Patapsco, of course. Like so. Dive down as well. And we'll go into uh, firing position. Okay, so we do need to slow right down with our Bessies here. Uh, that's just so our torpedoes get off properly and of course so that we can fire properly as well. Mike wants to turn around with these, slow right down so we can get in better. And once again, turn out. Don't want to make the same mistake as we made in the previous episode with our Mavises where we just completely fluffed the attack because uh, we gave them the attack order too late so they couldn't get to the uh, angle to attack there. But it should be okay there. We'll wait for these Bessies to get into tag closer there. Just turn these around like so. Looks like the 
other Bettys over there have got off okay. Looks like on the map might take two hits if we're lucky. Maybe just the one, actually. It's rather unlucky. We can tell this lot to attack, though. Get, yep, just one hit, unfortunately. Yeah, did just pass uh, over the bow. A little too much there on that first drop. That's okay. Not to worry. I'm going to slow them down. Hopefully get the Patapsco on this drop. That's not looking too bad at all, actually. Two torpedoes should sort that out. We shall see. Yeah, it's not looking so bad. That's one. This one's going to hit. No duds. Excellent stuff. Just got to hope that these Bessies don't go down on the retreat. And I think that's not looking too bad. What's the report? Critical to critical. Very, very nice indeed. That'll be done. This one's got a lovely list. Just not quite enough though, is it? Okay, so we can actually see this war spike group now. We're moving this zero to shadow that, so we've got some more solid sight over there. The question is, what do we actually want to do with it? Do we want to hit the cruisers, perhaps get rid of, the, I believe, the Northampton um, and the Perth, or do we want to, I'm thinking, level bomb with some Kates uh, onto the war spike there? Um, at least just a cripple. I think we're certainly more guaranteed to, um, or at least more assured, to sink a cruiser there, aren't we? Um, if we launch, oh, what do we want to do? Do you want to torpedo that or do we want to dive bomb it is the question. I'm thinking we're going to dive bomb uh, simply because uh, it'll be a little easier to preserve some planes there. We go with, the, of course, the AP bombs there. Go out this way. It's really not too far away from us, is it, that? Let's launch some more. Go to Vows. AP, thank you very much. And we'll launch the mouse over here. Yeah, 154 kilometers, really not too far away from us. We might have to uh, engage with some Mavises down here. We did send them out to uh, look out for that supply convoy once again. Let's carry on over here, though. And that will do, I think. Let's go straight in. And you know what? That's just in time. Because look at the time. We have 10 minutes of uh, air time left. And that's brilliant. That's going to help with our visibility there. Let's increase our altitude and speed with this zero. And get out of there. It's right on top of them. Hope that doesn't mean uh, they start changing their formation too much. But let's... Uh, our vowels over here are starting to get into position there, so we're going to go for a more broadside attack simply because that's where we are already, and I do want to try, as stated in the previous video, um, trying to go for a more perpendicular attack with bombs simply because they do tend to go wide rather than uh, too vertical there. Uh, looks like the number two is the Perth as well, so unfortunately that does mean we're going to have to go straight through them. Uh, like so, we're going to bring this group then to go for the Northampton. And we're going to get uh, the closer vowels to go for the um, Perth, actually. So what I'm thinking, because they're closer, and they don't have to go through quite so much uh, AA already, since they are focusing the zero at the moment. That's actually quite useful of the zero. Uh, we're going to go then and take individually once again all of these vowels from this formation, and they're going to go straight in. To hit that uh, Northampton. Let's really, really go. Okay, so the orders have been set. We've actually sighted one of their uh, scout aircraft over here, so the Zero is going to go straight in for that. Our Vows, of course, going to try and zoom through the AA here and get to the Perth. I, I don't know how good the reasoning is there. We'll see if it's uh, going well in practice. We're doing okay so far. One of these Vows at the moment smoking. That's not to worry so much there. We have still got these valves in a formation over here, just trying to come around and get on a decent angle for that uh, Northampton. We'll just bring them out a tad around here. Have lost one valve already, but you know what? That's actually fair play. You know what? <laughs> it's not too bad at all. We're starting to lose more now. Not to worry. I was expecting to lose a few more before we dropped. How's that looking, though? Uh, it's okay. One or two hits there. Oh, a dud. That's not good. To be fair, we've not had loads and loads of duds, have we, uh, so far? Um, got very, very lucky with our bombs uh, in recent times. And that, I will happily take that. I don't know if we're really going to get this uh, in one go. Might have to come back around with the uh, second group of valves. We'll see how that goes. But some nice fires on the rear of the ship there. 
very very nice fires. We're starting to get the bow as well which is excellent spread out the damage yeah the midships there brilliant 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 just gonna go with the last two there and that's gonna be a yeah could have said that was gonna be a miss there not to worry at all we're guessing into position to hit the uh, Northampton here um, not too sure about the angle there, but it's going to have to go for it, aren't we? That's heavy to moderate on the Perth. I don't think that's going to go down. Lost 10 vowels so far. We're certainly going to lose more on this attack. Um, hmm. I think we're going to form up into smaller groups there and tell them to attack like so. Just so they don't come down in one clump, hopefully form up like this once again and then we'll go through one last time and tell them all to attack I think let's go like that and go like that and again <laughs> oh this game is nothing if it's not tedious is it uh, it's just a tad tad on the micromanagement side there that's okay at least you do have the control for that this is still going to come down in one massive formation though, isn't it? That's the thing. Don't know if that's really helps there, but you know what? Yeah, I love to see the sight. <laughs> yeah, I love to see it. But it looks like this group wasn't too uh, interested in actually... Did we make that line ahead? No, that's box. That's interesting they're doing that. Look at that though. Oh, that's very tight grouping as well. That's a very, very tight grouping. Wave bye bye. <laughs> and that is not so bad. Not so bad at all there. We'll take that. We do need to tell them to um, get out though. So we're going to tell them to form up in a fairly wide box actually. And once again, pull up, tad, increase the speed as much as possible. And just go to the rear there. Thank you. Mm, doesn't look too bad on that, does it? So yeah, heavy to heavy is okay, so that's uh, you know, a little bit more than what we've done to the Perth, I suppose, comparatively. And there's another scout. Yeah, we're losing so many of those vowels now. Does it in the name of person <laughs> in preservation, he says. <laughs> oh dear. We'll uh, keep these about so that we can keep some sight on these ships. Uh, just out of range of small arms, the flak won't fire off with a low visibility, thankfully. But the fire is really persisting on this Perth, isn't it? Well, 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 it appears that uh, our submarines outside of truck have just caught sight of, I believe this is the King George V task force we spotted in the previous video. Um, let's go to the number one. Yes, it is indeed a lovely, lovely battleship there indeed. Um, that's not going to be what we hit though. We're going to try for the Perth and the New Orleans, I think. What sort of distance away from them are we? 6.7 kilometers away from the Perth. That is excellent news. Uh, can certainly work with that. Okay, let's go over here and we'll start turning to port. Um, go a tad quicker for now. I think we'll get some torpedoes ready. We'll fire for, let's say, one degree spread for that. And with this particular sub, we'll break, uh, go here, 
increase our speed again and turn to port. We'll fire out onto the New Orleans, of course. Uh, gone straight past that, silly Billy. Uh, where are we? CA uh, New Orleans, excellent. And we'll keep with four torpedoes at one degree spread there. We will up scope. And where are we facing there? Excellent. That should be right in front of us, really. I can't quite see them. The bearing is 73. Gone past that then. Mm, so 90 there. There we go. Just about see them in the distance there. And they are coming towards us. So that is very, very useful indeed there. Um, we did catch sight of them previously with these subs, but um, we were on their rear and they were moving away from us, unfortunately. Don't need to get too close here. Now, having said that, our solutions aren't great. And of course, we can't use this radar. It's not on top of the periscope there, which is rather unlucky. So I think we're going to waste around and try and get into a slightly closer position, wait for our solutions to uh, increase there. Well, unfortunately, we just couldn't do that. We had to get out of there in the end, despite it being a couple hours, nearly three hours past um, operational flight time. The uh, enemy did have a scout in the area, and I thought, you know what, it's so dark, visibility is so low, it won't be able to see us. Um, and it did. So <laughs> you just know that the uh, enemy started evading away instantly. So uh, that's rather unfortunate there. We are trying to scout that out again. We've seen um, a good amount of scouts coming um, to the south over here, but also to our west here. So there's quite likely a second task force out there. Uh, we'll just have to see. We have sighted some supplies over here though. So we're gonna launch once again uh, from Kaga, just some zeros to strafe that down. Oh, let's, let's launch all 20 there just to make sure it does go down. Uh, that would be fairly easy there. Uh, we're very close. Do have one task force at Peleliu to pick up supplies there and troops. Where are our other? They're just here, so not too far away at all. How long is that going to take? It's going to take 13.5 hours. Um, you know what? Might take these CVs here as well to help out with that. And they can come over... Mm, do you want both CVs over there? We do have the Tayo over here. Might take Akagi instead to come down and help out with that. Um, so that we have a stronger defensive force out over here. We'll just move that a little further inwards there. Uh, that's the thinking there. So we're going, strafe this down, and the next we'll see is, I think, uh, building up the island hopping campaign and finally launching our invasion to Duval there. Let's go. Well, um, this is actually going to be rather a bother. We have sighted, I imagine this is the King George uh, Task Force once again, but you can see it's heading towards Pele Liu, quite likely. Um, we do, of course, have Akagi in range. We're going to launch 27 Kates. I'm going to try and pinch that with two groups of 12 there, of course. So let's go straight for that. Might just lose sight of it there very briefly, but that's okay. Uh, let's bring from the rear as much as we can, but also slightly north of them there so we're not right on top of them when we go in uh, wish me luck fingers crossed we'll be able to get the king george i think um is going to be the target there because we do of course have the uh, task force over here to uh, deal with the cruisers let's go in okay so we can see that we are actually a de decent distance away from that king george just waiting there we go for the map to identify them there gonna try and keep some distance with one group here we have already divided this into two groups here of 12. I'm uh, going to stay out here, going to spread out our formation while we're moving here, and then we'll tighten up once again uh, when we're closer. Uh, we're of course going to target the King George to begin with, just to highlight it for us, that much easier. Looks like these Kates might want to come down this side actually, and you know what, they're helping us there by taking that source of formation. Let's slow down and dive down most of the way there. And I think we're gonna increase our speed with these cakes. They need to catch up a tad now. And dive down most of the way there as well. 
Which group are they actually firing at? Is it this group still? Can't bloody see the task force. There we go. Where are they going out to? I did see some flat shells coming out earlier. Might just be out of range of them. Uh, it's possibly the case. We are 10 kilometers away from them. Pretty much on either side there. Hmm. I want this to be as concise as possible. So that being roughly the same distance, I think what we're going to do is tell this group to come in first. We're going to go slightly quicker speed there, roughly one AC knot. We're going to slow down a tad here to match that speed roughly here. And we're going to tighten up our formation now with both groups, like so. And definitely come in with this group of cakes, increase their speed. Left that a little too long. And what we're going to do now is try and be overly complicated. <laughs> to be honest, we're going to subdivide our groups into groups of four here. Um, like so. One, two, three, four. Let's shift down to there. Like so. Excellent, and then we're going to bring this group um, as they are now. This group is going to come a little more northern like that, and this group is going to come slightly more southerly over here like that. They're going to increase their speed, and we'll drop that down uh, once we get closer, of course. This group can stay, uh, I think we'll reduce their speed a tad here like that and we'll probably do the same with uh, this group of Kates when we start getting closer as well this is um, with the idea of coming of course spreading out our Kates so um, we spread out the enemy's AA that much quick more as well and to uh, make sure we have multiple angles of approach uh, so we have multiple pincers coming at one time we're going to dive down with these groups to 40 meters this group can go straight in here and we're going to reduce the speed to torpedo friendly speeds now and we're going to subdivide this group as well I think actually do we need to I think we're going to divide these into groups of six here uh, like so reduce their speed as well once we are divided and we're going to come in, I think, from the south here, with this group. And we'll come in a little more northerly over here, but we do need to start diving down as well with these groups, just so we're ready to hit. And like I said, please reduce your speed, thank you. Like so. How are we looking with these cakes? They are closer. I think we'll tell them to attack from where they are, all of them. As per the plan. do like the box formation actually for when we're doing these attacks is really really good very very much like it we're going to attack from this angle here and we're going to attack from this angle here as well now I'll see if trying to be too cocky and too smart actually pays off here <laughs> would very much like some hits um, just checking with this group are they going to drop here it looks like we've lost a Kate here we are going to drop, aren't we? No. Ah, oh, we lost the lead plane just before we dropped there. Oh, that's so annoying. That's so, so annoying. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to let this uh, Kate leave, really. Let's let that one leave. But this group is the one, yeah, the planes on this side are doing so much better because they have been forced to uh, change or <laughs> really focus their fire there. They have diluted their AA so, so well there, I think. Look at that the biggest cross drop some very very nice hits there already it's only a couple it's only a couple but it's getting explosions look at that oh <laughs> so not the greatest amount of hits unfortunately but it is uh, on both sides of the ship of course 
and we haven't lost too many kates there. In fact, you know what? It's more hits than I thought. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits is not bad actually. Uh, eight hits actually. Miscounted. Didn't see that one ahead. So uh, I imagine four hits per side on the bows. So we didn't get the uh, increased spread that we wanted exactly, but I will happily take that if that sinks. You can see the bow pretty much completely submerged there. That's amazing. Yeah, it's just it's just going down. Yeah, just <laughs> slowly sinking. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And that should mean that a hit on the cruisers will be easier with our Taiyo there, unless we do want to come back with the Akigi Task Force. We'll see how this moves first before we act on that. And yeah, very, very nice indeed. There we go, lovely, lovely five command points gained there with 13 Kate surviving, which is, uh, I'll happily take that, happily, happily take that indeed. Um, well, it's a fair few loss, isn't it? That's not to worry. Um, so we will try and uh, continue scouting that out. Uh, Pele Liu, you can use some Mavises, I think, um, as uh, high endurance scouts there to keep that sighted. Thank you. Launch this one out over here, firstly. And what it will do is start backing up on itself there. Make a bit of a turn. Come back like that. Keep that out like that as a continuous patrol for the minutes. And we'll send another one to cover that. Go down, I think, more southerly here. And we'll work our way up. Keep it like that. And the final one can come out to make that a little more close range. I bloody clicked the wrong plane there. And that one can come out like this. That's not at all near the uh, task force there. Come out like this, see if it is in fact coming down to try and spot us down there at Pele Liu. Like so, very wide. Keep it like that for now, thank you. See if we can finally get uh, this task force going here, though. How long is that going to take to get to Devour, actually? Do we need to get going now with one group? Uh, it's going to take 27 hours, 28 hours to get there. Mm, yeah, we pretty much want to start going now if we can. So let's manage cargo and launch everything we can. We're going to leave the destroyers for last at the moment. Um, pick up troops with the Kokuryu Marus like so, and with the Kamogawa Marus we're going to take some supplies. See the numbers there fairly even, slightly undersupplied, uh, because we do carry that odd 80 troops on the Kokuryu Marus there. Um, for those wondering, this is not the, the actual Shimakaze. Um, I believe this is a either Wakatake or Minakaze I gave. Um, these uh, supply ships. <laughs> the Shimakaze itself does come out later and I wouldn't use it specifically as a uh, transport or escorting ship. Um, we're going to carry some supplies then having said that we're slightly mismatched with our destroyers. We're just going to go straight in here and move our um, Taiyo, the Tad, closer there to help out with that. And these will come slightly staggered, but that's absolutely fine. It's not going to make a lot of difference. As long as they come within the same 24 hour period, uh, it should be fine there. That's the aim. Um, having said that, our invasion supplies over here are going to come down with some very late reinforcements. Um, I did originally intend for them to come down at the same time as uh, these troops over here, but that's absolutely fine. Uh, it's just making sure we get uh, the Kure troops cycled through as well, getting some use out of them before it becomes a massive stockpile. So let's keep going. Hopefully we'll sight this again, and hopefully it's retreating. Okay, it appears we've been intercepted on the separate uh, yep, convoy here. What do we have? We have... Hmm, interesting. Don't fully recognise this plane. That's rather interesting. It's a rather fat bomber, though. What do we have over here? The same again. Just going to take two seconds to try and uh, identify that, because I do not... Um, recognize that at all actually 
Don't believe it's any of these. Certainly not a Liberator. And it's certainly not a Mitchell, Flying Fortress, Mariner. That's not a Sky Pirate at all. <laughs> I'd be very scared if it were a Sky Pirate. Uh, if we go over to... It's none of these. Um, suggest them. It's not... Not a Hurricane, of course. Could be a Hudson. Could be. Hmm... Oh, it could be one of these, actually. That's looking more like it. Yeah, it's one of these uh, Netherlands planes. That's very, very nice to see indeed. What might it be armed with? Oh, a lot of big bombs. <laughs> very, very big bombs indeed. So we certainly don't want these to drop. Okay, cool. Um, they do have some machine gun support as well, of course. So, let's get our zeros in position then. Um... If we just try to get these zeros over on this group, that would be ideal. Try and spread the target. So there's one fighter per bomber there at least. We are going to try and increase that because we clearly don't have enough zeros to uh, deal with one squadron at a time like that, one to one. Um, the idea here is to try and get the closest zeros, of course, to the uh, closest bombers, try and reduce the uh, inter uh, time to flight uh, there. And uh, it's just trying to get one on one again. If we get these back groups onto this uh, group over here, I'm really not liking the idea of the fact that these have such heavy, heavy bombs. Really, really beg uh, hoping for the one pass to be successful here, actually. It's going to be very, very nasty indeed if even one of these bombs hits. Uh, <laughs> can be very frustrating indeed and the fact that they have come in so so close to our task force there means that we need to get moving very very quickly indeed but I think that's about as much as we can do so we start looking at getting our task force moving we have asked for smoke already we're going to break off with the forward ships we're going to try and bet that those are the ones they're going for try and measure that out in just a second so we get these three moving first so that looks like they're on a line here. Get this uh, group moving out as well if possible, maybe. But it looks like, yeah, they're definitely focusing on uh, the ships who've just moved there. And that is still not going to be great. There's one more about. Rather unlucky. They're just going to have to send one stray zero to try and deal with that if possible. Uh, hopefully they don't fight back too hard. <laughs> but they are indeed firing out as one, two down. That's okay. That's okay. Three, that's, that'll do, that'll do for now. Four down, excellent stuff. Can we get all of them down? No, we need to increase our speed. This is horrible. You can bet they've already dropped. Um, the one above this particular ship looks like it's dropped already. That would definitely be in a position there. And there's, oh, very narrow miss there. Very, very narrow. We're not managing to get rid of this group, though. They have dropped with three bombs. And look at our position there. We're giving them the fastest broadside there. Fingers crossed. Come on. No! No! <laughs> no! Oh, that's the worst thing. Only one magazine explosion. But that is going to shatter the rear half of our, half of our ship there. Look how far away we're firing out with this zero, though. That's just not going to hit. Uh, maybe we can have a look at that. No, it's just completely off. We're going to increase our speed to try and catch up with that. We'll keep it firing just in case we do get any stray hits, but look at that. And that has actually dropped. We can't see any bombs on that by the looks of it. So that's uh, one of the Kamagawa Maru sunk. So that's going to be, um, under, we're going to be undersupplied now when we do go in for the invasion, which is rather unfortunate because we were slightly mismatched anyway. But uh, you know what? I think I would rather take the supply hits than the troops, simply because we do have more supplies uh, available at Pele Lu. We're going to try and get rid of these, but look, it doesn't look like we're actually getting any hits. We're going to stop this one from firing because it's so far away now. But it's not looking like... Yeah, I don't think we're actually getting rid of these. That should have gone down by now. You see, of course, our zero disengaging there, but we have this one on the back here, and... Look at how many hits that's taking. That's surely something's amiss here. Something's amiss. <laughs> We're just going to have to come out uh, very soon and stop wasting our time because we'll lose zeros for sure if we keep doing this. There's one down actually. Maybe we can keep doing this. That's very interesting though. You can see the smoke slightly misaligned there from uh, the plane. That's interesting. Uh, minor, minor visual glitch. 
Uh, yeah, getting caught up though in this. Um, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> you can't tell me he's not going down from that. <laughs> Let's just retreat out and see what we can do from here though. Yeah, look at all of those losses there. We did lose, of course, um, the one uh, supply ship there. We took some minor damage on a couple other ships. Um, I wonder if that's from a previous uh, surface battle we had. Quite likely. Let's go back and see what we can do here then. Okay, so we should now be in range to drop off our first load of supplies. Let's see. Not quite in range. Okay, let's just get a tag closer then. It is night time. We're okay to do this without being interfered with. That's not too bad. The second group will certainly help out and push us over halfway in our favour there. Let's come back to Pele Lu. We do still have a thousand or so. That's not going to be good enough, is it? Because uh, we'll lose Pele Lu if we take the troops off of there. That's rather unfortunate. So uh, we're going to need a lot of troops um, to <laughs> take on all of these islands. I wouldn't have thought they were quite that uh, well defended. Um, we're going to have to decide then which um, islands we really want to keep the airfields on then. Because we're going to have to bombard some of these. Absolutely going to have to bombard some of these. Um, but which ones? That's a question. That is quite the question there. Either way, I think we'll keep um, this level 3 airfield because that will help us uh, pursue us or pursue up further in either way. So we get the um, fighters off of there. So let's carry on and get these supplies on as well. So just like this, this is the one where we did lose the uh, Kamigawa Maru, unfortunately. So it's going to be mismatched with our uh, troops there at Tad. Yeah, it's really not helping there. We do have a lot of troops there. Um, I think we will keep that. We'll see how that progresses. But we might want to bombard that, unfortunately. So, let's come out and retreat out. But I think that is going to be it for today, everyone. Got the uh, Island Hobbit campaign finally rolling. It is uh, <laughs> actually 83 days. And it's the uh, what, third invasion we've done. Uh, it's a very little uh, island progress. But a lot of uh, ship sinking progress has been made. Can't discount that whatsoever. Um, so, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the uh, video. Please do uh, think about subscribing if you're new or do uh, want to carry on with uh, the series here. We are very, very, very close to uh, a thousand. I have a massive, very, very nice surprise for you indeed when we do reach uh, 1,000 subs. Um, so, looking forward to showing you that very, very much. But thank you for watching once again. It's been a pleasure hosting for you today. I've been the Edify Gamer, and I hope all of your nights and days are auspicious. Goodbye.